Water covers approximately 71% of Earth's surface, earning our planet the nickname, the Blue Planet. This water exists in various forms, including in the oceans, rivers, lakes, glaciers, underground aquifers, and in the atmosphere. But what would the shape of our Earth look like if we removed all water from the planet? Would it still be spherical or would it be like this? Or like this? Or even like this? A quick Google search shows that Earth has a radius of 6,371 kilometers. The highest mountain is around 9 kilometers high, and the deepest part of the ocean is around 11 kilometers deep. Let's try to visualize how these numbers compare. In this graph, the circle represents Earth with its 6,371 kilometers radius. The orange color represents Earth at sea level. The blue line represents the deepest part of the ocean, which is around 11 kilometers deep, and is drawn as a blue circle around Earth. The black line represents Everest, which is the highest mountain at around 9 kilometers high and is drawn as a black circle around the Earth. Now let's zoom out and see how these mountains and oceans compare to the size of the Earth. As you can see, the different circles are no longer visible, which shows that the sizes of the mountains and oceans are quite insignificant compared to the size of the Earth. Without water, Earth would maintain its roughly spherical shape. In fact, the total amount of water as a sphere would only be this big, which is significantly smaller to the size of the Earth. By the way, the total amount of air on Earth is represented in this sphere, which is also quite small compared to the Earth. Water covers approximately 71% of Earth's surface. However, when considering the Earth's entire mass, which includes the planet's interior, water constitutes only around 0.02% or less. In conclusion, when we look at the grand scale of our planet, it's awe-inspiring to realize that even the mightiest mountains and deepest oceans are mere specks in the vastness of Earth. So next time you gaze at a mountain or watch the waves crash on a shore, remember the remarkable context in which they exist. Thanks for watching.